If you're told that you can't have a single panel on your south roof or you shouldn't have any panels on your north roof, I'm going to tell you why they might be wrong. This video, I'm going to tell you how I've added an additional seven panels to my existing 10 panel system and exactly how we've added just one panel to our south roof and one panel to our north roof and it works exactly as it's intended. And the data from the north roof is quite surprising. So stay around for this video to tell, see exactly what we've done and how we've done it. Now, typically solar inverters are based on what we know as a string inverter. A string inverter means all your solar panels are linked together and then come down your wall and go into what's known as a inverter. On those inverters, we have two things to input the solar at the bottom. We have a plus and a minus, but we have usually two trackers, sun trackers, they're known as MPTTs. Now MPTTs need a minimum number of solar panels to work. Typically the lowest I've seen from any system around on the market at the moment is around about three to four panels as a bare minimum for the MPTT to have a minimum turn on voltage. That means that putting one panel on a north roof just means it wouldn't work at all. There wouldn't be enough voltage to rise that system on to turn it on at all. But not only that, a lot of MPTTs mean that you can't really have multiple directions of solar panels. So if you only had two MPTTs and you have four facing rays like mine, so a north, a south, east, and a west array, you, could, you couldn't really split them on a standard string inverter. Now there is a way around that, and that's using something called an optimizer. Now the reason why you can't do it is if you have a panel on your string array that's behaving different to the rest of the panel, so it's performing worse, the whole system will drop down in performance. So rather than those, say you had five, five panels perfectly in full sun that would generate their full peak performance, if one of those panels is in the shade, the other panels will be dropped down to that performance level. Or if you had five panels on a south roof and one panel on a north roof, everything would be dropped down to the performance of around about the north roof. This means that you don't get your full system performance. Now, we can fix that, like I said, with an optimizer. So the way an optimizer works is it optimizes your system to bring the voltage to a, a, a more equilibrium system. So basically you get the max performance out of the whole system for as long as possible. Now, optimizers do have some negatives. One, you have to buy them on additional as a string inverter and they use a little bit of voltage themselves. But it also, a lot of people will say, fitting one panel to a south roof and buying an optimizer isn't really worth the effort of doing it. Or fitting one to a north ray and mixing it in isn't worth it. And if you've got four different orientations, then it can get quite expensive buying an optimizer for every single panel that's in a different orientation, or every single panel that's in the shade. It can get very pricey very quickly. So how have we done it? Now my system was fitted by Heatable. Now Heatable don't really use string inverters. They do sell string inverter systems with solar panels but they're recommended, their premium system uses something called a microinverter by Enphase. Now if you are after a solar system you can get £150 off Heatable no matter which system you go for using evnick.com forward slash Heatable or just use evnick150 at checkout it'll knock £150 off. Now if you're after a battery only system use evnick75 you'll get £75 off. Now microinverters work completely different you don't need a string inverter okay you just need a microinverter which means that if you are getting optimizers and and uh, an inverter it can actually work out cheaper and depending on how many panels you have microinverters actually can work out price parity or the same price if you're having a huge system then they will work out slightly more expensive but they have that benefit of being fully optimized now the way they work is you have one microinverter per every panel you have and every panel behaves like its own individual power station so that means that they're all optimized dc power from the panel is converted straight to ac at, directly at the panel which means they have a lower startup voltage so you only need one panel because only one panel can be plugged into a microverter which means it's pretty much on all the time it switches on very very quickly at low light levels which means that you're getting a lot more of the solar from your panels but it also means that we can fit every single panel in a different orientation and one of them can be shaded one of them can be north one of them can be south they'll all behave completely different 
Now, when I re-signed a partnership deal with Heatable, I re-signed it for a couple of reasons. One, they've been fantastic to work with and everyone who's had a solar system off them, who's let me know in the comments, has said that they've been really, really good. There was only one minor complaint, I believe, off somebody and that was that they were a bit late taking the scaffolding down on a bank holiday Friday and a bank holiday Monday weekend. And I can kind of get why they're annoyed, but I can kind of get why the scaffolders didn't turn up. Now, <laughs> the the main issue with my roof is it's got an apex on it and I could only fit one panel to myself for a roof. Now, I knew that my converters could handle doing one panel. So I asked Heatable to fit one panel to that south roof. But we, I said, well, I like a little bit of symmetry in my roof. It's going to look odd on the north roof with no panel. Can we line it up and have a one on the south and one on the north? And they went, yeah, well, we don't we think it's going to perform too well, but yeah, go on, we'll put it on for your symmetry. And to my amazement and Heatable's amazement, the north does pretty good. Now, I'm quite sad, like you're going to be when you get a solar system installed, and that is I'm constantly looking at the live data. And one thing that surprised me in the live data is that the north array outperforms a lot of the other panels in live data when viewed live. So sometimes it's outperforming the east, sometimes it's outperforming the west, and sometimes it's outperforming the south. Now at the time of recording this video, I only have part July data, so I'm going to estimate what it is. When I get the real figures, they'll be displayed somewhere at the bottom of here. But the live data doesn't give perfect accurate data of what the performance of north is. Obviously over the course of a month, the north is lower than the south, but not by as much as you think. In fact, on, during this live data that I have, it, the, the south generated this and the north generated this. Now what's gonna be interesting to see how the north array performs in the winter months when the sun is at a lower angle. If you don't know much about how the sun and solar works the way it is at the moment in pretty much the northern hemisphere is the sun is up here very very high in the summer and as we get towards winter it dips below and it's almost basically firing at the wrong angle to the panel of obviously the, the slope of the roof which means that the south tends to perform better because the way the sun rises and the west and east array will perform worse but the, the north array is probably getting a bit of sun from that tilt the height of the sun that's why the, the north probably performing quite well at times so the interesting part will be how well does it perform in the winter when that sun rays are a lot lower now I do have some optimism. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, and I'll tell you why. We have bifacial panels on the system that we have, and the bifacial panels perform really well in low light. So having that low sun, I think they're not going to be far behind the east and west array. Obviously, the south will massively outperform it. Now, I'll be interested to see what you think it's going to do, so post your figures down below in the comment section. Now, I'd like to say a special thanks to Heatable, but if you want to see my live data, go to evnick.com forward slash solar. There's a link to my end phase system, so you can see what the panels are doing pretty much day by day, month by month. I've made that data fully accessible, but I will be doing updates on how the system's performing, um, you know, monthly updates, even six monthly and yearly updates. Now, if you wanna see how the 10 panels did on my other roof, then check out this video here. And if you wanna see the playlist of all the stuff we've done with Heatable, check out this video here.